it's never too late to start moving in a different direction. It's never it's never too late to turn around and start moving in a different direction. And like for me, like that that's my story in that moment. But that was my story for six years. You are not your worst decision and you are not your greatest accomplishment. And when you start to define yourself by what you do, that becomes who you are. That's not who you are. And like you were talking about, when there is a foundational why behind everything that you do, you won't allow your what, your circumstance, to dictate what you do. It's the difference between uh, reactionary behavior versus responsive behavior. Reactionary behavior, my circumstance and a person in a situation is going to control how I act. Responsive behavior is there is something inside of me that I'm I, that is bigger than the situation, and I'm going to respond indicative of who I am, regardless of the situation, what the person does, what the person says, whatever I encounter. I'm not going to allow that thing to dictate my response. And like in that moment, I did not have that, and I was just pursuing something that I didn't understand and I was trying to figure out life and man momentary satisfaction is not worth a lifetime of regret I love that so so what I so what I heard you say is is every person men you know specifically we, we addressed this uh, a couple episodes back with Johnny El Sasso is like you need you know whether it's a you know core set of values uh, that you drive your life by or you know uh, belief system or worldview um, or just a just a why statement or a purpose statement for your life and that needs to kind of sit at the the foundation of every of every yeah. decision yeah i mean every made. person needs a vision for their life mm. and your vision for your life what you want to do with your life like everyone should have that like what do you want to do with your life and if something does not align with that mission and vision and it and it's actually eroding it or setting you on a different path, why would you say yes to it? So for me, like that decision literally imploded everything that I had pursued up to that moment. So I said yes in that moment when I should have said no. And I knew from my mother raising me and loving me to, to, to teaching me to do the right thing. Um, I knew that was the wrong thing. I knew that was wrong, but I did it anyway because I was chasing the satisfaction of becoming famous. It was not like for me, it was never about the sex because like I had no problems getting women. Like, I, and it was, it wasn't even about like the money. Like it, it, I didn't need money. Like I wasn't rich by any means, but I didn't need money and I had no problem like hooking up with girls. So like that wasn't what I was chasing after. I was chasing after the idea of what it would be like to be famous. And that is that is what drove me to say yes. But ultimately, I needed something that I couldn't put my hands on to make me feel in a way that I couldn't I couldn't I could never achieve on my own. Like I was I was chasing after if I become famous, I will feel valuable. If I become famous, I will feel loved. If I become famous, finally I will have this peace that I'm chasing after. And like, that is why I said yes. So in that, in that moment, you know, this guy comes up to me, he's like, Hey, we need you in 15 minutes. Here's a Viagra. If you, if you want to take it, take it. If you don't, don't, if you've never taken it before, buy it in half. And I was like, I'm already here. What am I going to do? So I popped the whole thing, drank a water bottle and went, went over to this like day bed that had stadium lighting. And there was this girl that I never, that never looked at me. We never spoke a word to each other. I walked over. It happened. I don't even recall it. But then I'm I'm driving home, and you know I'm, I'm trying to I take I took like a a pretty mediocre shower before I left, and I still had like you know like lube or or whatever like still on my leg. I remember like I remember like I could like it was almost like I felt dirty and I couldn't get it off, and I had this check in my hand. I'm driving home, and it's like what did I do? But that decision within weeks had me fired from the agency, um, the, you know, the, the mainstream agency that, that I had, you know, been so desperately trying to get in with my, since I was a kid. So that dream gone, all of a sudden 
my mom was like, hey, your uncle told me that someone said this. Is this true? So the first, the first movie, the first film, like, cost you your acting career and got back to family that quickly. Yeah, because, like, for me, so, A, I'm from a really small town, and, B, the, the story that I have that's slightly different than everyone else, because of the agent that I had, um, like, his plan for me was never to, um, you know, just, this is, the, I, we got this guy, and, you know, we're going to, you know, he's, he's just another guy, so we're just going to, like, plug him in and try to make some money off of him. Like, his, his plan was to make me as famous as he could, because he saw that in me. And so I never did anything but big projects and work for big companies. So the company that I worked for first, it was one of those companies that would like that video was viewed 500,000 times within me doing it six days later. So it's like it was everywhere and someone it only took one person to see it, to see to, to tell someone else. Then all of a sudden I'm on, I'm on my phone following my mom. It's like, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's like, yeah. I did it, and 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 in that moment, um, I felt so ashamed and humiliated, and I felt her disappointment. And she never stopped loving me, never stopped pursuing me, but never affirmed that I was doing that. No matter how much money I made, no matter how much fame that I had, she never was like, "Oh, that's cool." She was like, she would always say, "You are so much better than that. Your life." It has greatness all over it, and it's not doing that. Your life is worth so much more than that. I wish you would do something else.